Nicole McGuinness appeared on a TV show to find her dream home. However, little did she know that her brush with fame would actually have huge consequences on her life. Why? Well, as he watched, one eagle-eyed viewer noticed something unusual about the woman on his TV set, something that could, in fact, have dire consequences for McGinnis. Hello, wonderful people. I'm Scott Leffler for Wonderbot, and here is… When this woman appeared on television, an observant viewer realized her life was at risk. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. McGinnis lives in Moorhead City, North Carolina, and in 2015 she was busy living her life when fate dealt her a terrifying blow. In that year, doctors diagnosed her with grade 4 glioblastoma, a particularly nasty form of brain cancer. The news likely came as a terrible shock to McGinnis, who was only in her late 20s at the time. And to make matters worse, given the aggressive nature of glioblastoma, the young woman's doctors told her that the disease would probably cut her life short. However, with treatment, medical professionals managed to get McGinnis's cancer under control. And as McGinnis now had what looked like a brighter future, she decided to go on television. In particular, she appeared on a 2018 episode of Beachfront Bargain Hunt Renovation, a show that helps buyers find their perfect seaside homes. Now, Beachfront Bargain Hunt Renovation is itself broadcast on HGTV. The show goes out on Saturdays and is typically watched by millions of viewers. And when McGinnis's episode aired in May 2018, Eric Voigt was among those to turn in. Voigt is a head and neck surgeon from New York City and practices at NYU Langon Medical Center there. Given his medical expertise then, the doctor may notice symptoms that ordinary folk would typically miss. And as he watched McGinnis on beachfront bargain hunt renovation, he came to a potentially worrying conclusion. In an interview with the New York Post in June 2018, Voigt revealed, I was relaxing after a day of work, watching beautiful beach houses and daydreaming. But then I noticed the lump. It stood out. And I went from being relaxed to thinking, gosh, she may have a medical problem. Explaining what had worried him about the lump in particular, Voigt revealed that the mass was asymmetrical and had a way of moving under the skin each time McGinnis spoke. As a result, the doctor said that he felt obliged to warn the stranger of what he had spotted. However, since McGinnis's full name was not revealed on the show, Voigt was stuck about how to contact her. In the end, though, he turned to social media for help. Using Facebook, the physician reached out to friends and family, explaining that the lady in question's life may be at risk. Writing on Facebook, Voigt said, I'm watching a TV show and notice this woman has a left thyroid mass. She needs a sonogram and fine needle biopsy. I wonder if she knows and hope it's benign. He accompanied the message with a clip of McGinnis on beachfront bargain hunt renovation. And some of Voigt's Facebook followers were eager to assist the doctor in his quest, writing helpful comments and sharing his post. What's more, Voigt's message was eventually directed to McGinnis in time to warn her about the lump. Explaining what went down, Voigt said to Canadian radio show, as it happens, in June 2018, Someone said to contact the broadcasting company and try to reach her through them. Another friend actually sent me the link to the broadcasting company, so I sent them an email. However, it was Voigt's social media post that eventually reached McGinnis. A couple of weeks after having raised his concerns on Facebook, the New Yorker received a message from a friend of McGinnis's who in turn revealed that they had passed the doctor's words on. Explaining her feelings after reading Voigt's post, McGinnis said to As It Happens, I felt at first shocked and then, I think, thankful. Wasting no time, she visited her doctor that very same day to get the lump examined. Then, not long after, she received a diagnosis of papillary thyroid cancer. And despite the fact that he hadn't examined McGinnis himself, Voigt was hopeful that she would beat her cancer once more. He explained, as it happens, that papillary thyroid cancer is a very curable form of the disease. Therefore, with the right treatment, McGinnis will hopefully be on the road to recovery once more. Voigt further said of McGinnis on the radio show, She doesn't have any symptoms, and it's not showing any signs clinically that it's doing anything harmful, meaning that she swallows well and her voice sounds normal. He added, She also doesn't have any other visible lymph nodes. As for McGinnis herself, well, she believes that fate led her to appear on beachfront bargain hunt renovation. I think everything happens for a reason, she explained. I was on that television show, 
and I think that's because Dr. Voigt could spot what was on my thyroid. Furthermore, thanks to Dr. Voigt's intervention, McGinnis was able to tackle her cancer sooner rather than later, which may have spelled the difference between life and death. And as a result, she decided to email the stranger and thank him for taking the time to reach out to her. Then, later, after news of McGinnis's extraordinary tale had spread, she and Voigt met in person. There are not many times in a person's life that you meet someone and say, Hey, thanks, you probably saved my life, McGinnis said to As It Happens. So for me, it was amazing. And though McGinnis's road to recovery is ahead of her, it seems that she's feeling positive. In June 2018, she told rally-based NBC affiliate WRAL, I think I'll be strong. I think that I'll carry on and hope to even offer some inspiration to folks who are in similar circumstances.